Hello, everyone. And and I just realized uh, that's quite a long name for this game. We, we got to figure out a way to shortcut that. But anyways, I'm Sky Bills. It's wonderful to see y'all. I'm here with my partner, Author Blues. Oh, thank you so much for being here as well. A fellow speedrunner of this category because I basically told him to, but he also likes the game. Oh, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? I am... Very excited to play this. Um, this is still a fairly new game. There's still a lot going on. I'm still even learning stuff. So again, I am ready to roll. So I'm going to count us down and we are going to get going again. Hello, everyone. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Yeah, so this is speedrun mode of Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. Uh, the speedrun mode unlocks levels as you go through you um you earn coins for completing challenges at different levels and then you uh spend those coins to unlock new challenges um unfortunately that category does spend quite a bit of time grinding coins in order to unlock some of the more expensive challenges and so this is a category that basically just does all of the challenges in a row um because we want to avoid the 20 minutes of grinding Barba uh, in Zelda 2. <laughs> hey, Oth, by the way, Achievement Unlocked did not die to the first Goomba in Mush Zoom 1. That's nice. <laughs> That's always nice to see. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, I'm not going to do it because it'll waste time, but Oth, uh, John Nintendo says we can't go down this pipe, by the way, in this one. Okay, well. You, you will get rewound. <laughs> if he says it. Yeah, there's, uh, there's certain requirements on some of the challenges. You'll see uh, slightly different strats than you're used to for a lot of these stages, and, and there's a variety of reasons for that. Some of them are that the speedrun tricks you might be familiar with are specifically banned um, in some of the challenges. Like, they check to see whether or not you do a speedrun strat and then, uh, you know, penalize you for doing so. Uh, in some cases, it's just easier to play risky. Uh, one of the cool things about this uh, game in general is that because the challenges are so short and they're designed to be little bite-sized challenges, rather than just letting you die or something like that, um, it'll rewind you. It'll do so automatically. So it'll rewind time for a few seconds uh, if you die um, so that you can just keep going, you know, keep the fun up. Um, that does kind of change Ooh. the approach. They're very nice challenge. <laughs> that does change the approach a little bit, though. Uh, sometimes it's beneficial to just play risky, aim to save the time, and if you make a mistake, the game's just going to rewind you. You're going to lose almost nothing for going for it. Um, and so you'll see a variety of strats. Some of them might look familiar. Some of them might not. Um, I like this but... off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, mu you must have hacked the piranha plants. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just, just a little bit, you know. So that's one PV so far. We gotta keep track. We gotta keep track of PVs. That's a fun thing to do with this. Every challenge gets a few of them. So this is the first, uh, let's say, um, particularly interesting challenge in in uh, Super Mario Brothers. One is is getting 30 coins. Um, the tricky bit is that it's not feasible to do so in just one level. So um, it does have a little bit of a dip into one two. Um, no so you fireworks. get the rest of them. All right, so yeah, as I said, we got to go into one, two, and again, we have to be mindful about fireworks. No one, no one wants fireworks. We'd hate to lose that one second. Yep. Well, that was interesting. No, Mario, come on. There we go. Nice. All right. So yeah, um, everyone's going to have strengths and weaknesses with this. For me, it's funny. I'm actually starting out on a semi-weakness here. Mario 1, even though I am a 2D Mario runner, it's my weakest of the 2D Mario games. So we're starting on a weaker note here for me, but I think it's, uh, it's, it's not too bad so far. Oh, by the way, in case you didn't know where to go, John Nintendo points you in that way as well. A lot of these challenges have those, <laughs> you know, giving you a little indicator if you're oh not familiar with the game. Dude. Well done. Two! All right, we're keeping track of this. I can't believe I have two so far. That's kind of wild. So no I think you like the best about this, uh, about this game slash category. Is there anything that sticks out to you? Anything you enjoy? 
Uh, I think speedrunning can be um, very samey in the sense that a lot of times you play the same category over and over. And I think one of the cool things about Nintendo World Championships is a lot of the challenges aren't your typical speedrun fare. Uh, some of them are asking you to do something you wouldn't otherwise do in the game. You know, Donkey Kong asking you to collect specific pickups or, uh, you know, in this game asking you to break 30 blocks. Um, those are just kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting to see how fast you can do some what would otherwise be a relatively mundane challenge. Why did they have to do this stage off? This isn't such a bad stage. <laughs> That's such a bad stage. I like these fish, all right? Ah, <laughs> I'm not a fan. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on, readjust, readjust. Go, 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 go. Oh my God. All right. You just gotta be brave. <laughs> gotta be brave, yeah. All right, here we go. Speaking of being brave, this is the one I'm like the most nervous for. So I'll try to do some talking about this any percent and what we can do and what we can't do with this. Yeah, so um, the end of every single game, the, the list of challenges will be a legend level challenge. And for most of them, they're actually complete a whole level or complete a whole stage or complete a whole dungeon or something like that. Um, this one is literally just an any percent run. Um, and a lot of the strategies are available, so you can do things like bullet bill glitch, um, but there are a lot of things you can't do. So some of the more straightforward tricks that people who may not be hardcore Super Mario Brothers speedrunners um, would be familiar with and might be willing to try things like uh, the wrong warp in 4-2 or even, um, you know, using the smaller wrong warps in Bowser's Castle in 8-4. Um, all of those are prohibited. And so um, a lot of this is Ooh, playing okay. by the books for the most part. Ah, oh, I thought it was going to get my fire flower back. It doesn't Not matter. Uh, Oz told me to do this all small anyways. You know what? We're just going to go for it. Yeah, so that's one of the things <laughs> I actually quite like about this game. I was mentioning it before, but it allows you to play a little more risky. I I had a pretty poor PB in Super Mario Bros. 1 the first few times that I played this um, because I would play pretty conservatively. I would pick up power-ups and things like that. And after a while, I realized, so what if I run into a hammer bro? You just re rewind by a second or two, Look and you that. just keep going. I love that Piranha Plant hitbox. Some things, uh, same as it ever was, you know, so yeah. to speak. <laughs> uh, so I think there's actually some benefits, in my opinion, to, uh, to playing this challenge Small Mario. Um, and this will allow Sky to play pretty aggressive if she wants to, so. Mm-hmm. It was so funny. We were just talking before this very run. He's like, you don't have to grab power-ups. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get one fire flower. And if it, if it breaks, I'm just going to do the rest small. And he's like, all right. So I'm sticking to it. The only thing that stinks about being small is it makes this right here, grabbing the, the block up there, a little more annoying um, if you're not used to doing it. Yeah, um, which I am not. But that's okay. We're, we're there. We're there. Yeah, Sky finds herself in the unique position. She is one of very few people who, um, not a big fan of Super Mario Brothers 1, not really her strong suit, uh, but Lost Levels, SMB2J, um, she's actually quite good at. There's not a lot of people in the world who can say that not very good at Super Mario Brothers 1, but extremely good at Super Mario Brothers 2, but Sky is among them. Luigi, that's why. Luigi's yeah, the well, best. These challenges force you to play as Mario some, so. Yeah, they're not too bad, though. I discovered um, someone told me where a star would be in one one of lost levels. Made Mario kind of trivial after that. Sure. Not used to doing this as small Mario, but we're working with it. Also, uh, this game, one thing I do like because your PB is always in sight, it does encourage you to continue to grind and get better at stuff. Off, you know all about that from the Super Me sorry, from the uh, Nest Metroid cr climb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I definitely got nerd sniped by quite a few challenges trying to trying to perfect them. Uh, the next game after this one is is Metroid Second. Um, Zelda One is second. Zelda, Zelda one, one second. Um, the Your favorite. <laughs> yeah, the climb at the end of Metroid. I definitely spent uh, hours <laughs> trying to get good at. It's it's tricky. Hey, while you're you know, on the topic of Metroid, can I ask you both a quick question? Yeah, I'd yeah, love yeah. To what's hear up? Question. I'd yeah, love to. Are hear you that. both a pro save or kill the animals? 
I am pro raising money for direct relief. So you know what? Whatever, whatever needs the most assistance. Sorry. <laughs> I just think saving those animals is a waste of time. Honestly, honestly, I think we should all just take those animals down a peg. Well, you all heard them, folks. We should kill the animals. Get those donations in. Kill the animals oh. is still behind, and I think we could do it. Kill the animals. Save the frames. Let's go. Thank you, you like for speed your runs, right? I love speed running. <laughs> clearly, based on the butt clenching from the last stage, I clearly love speed running, right? I love that feeling of knowing something might cause my inevitable or imminent uh, demise here. Hey, off! Look, I didn't get a uh, Hammer Brother Wombo combo yet. <laughs> oh, okay, you know what? You know what? I'll take but a see, little bit of See, that's what I'm cheating. saying. You just, you rewind <laughs> one time and you're fine. You said I yet and it took one it. second. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never before has someone's come up and it's been brought upon them so quickly. <laughs> that was very quick. Well, that's me. I like creating moments like that, you know? All right, so right there, the Prana plant uh, disappears. I always found that interesting here in 8.4. That's the loop point. Oh, gosh, that was unexpected. It is very easy to get Wombo there. Uh, Oth has a really funny clip of him getting Wombo combo there, but I really don't want to talk smack until about of 8.4 again. I've learned yeah. my lesson here. I can't tease Oth until I'm in familiar territory again, all right? Okay, okay. Come on, Bowser. No! Yeah, oh. unfortunately. Unfortunately, okay. for some all reason, right, I feel right, like right, every right. time I get a bad Bowser pattern in this game. <laughs> it was pretty good. That was still pretty acceptable for so me. So this game is definitely Sky's strong suit, or, or one of her strong suits. Uh, <laughs> she's played she's played quite a lot of Zelda 1 in her life. I uh, I was doing a run on her Switch the other day. Um, I, I, I needed to borrow her Switch to do a run of this game. And... Uh, her her PBs in Zelda One are they were they were very difficult for me to try to keep up with. Well, you know, I kind of played this uh, randomizer for two years, you know. Yeah, you you've got a few extra thousand hours of this game than I do. Oh yeah. Yeah, so Zelda One Rando probably something I'm gonna be submitting again in the near future. Oh yeah, I have to grab the key. That's the other thing when you're playing this uh, new game plus speedrun mode, it's very easy to do another objective. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I do that all the time where I'll start up a challenge, especially Super Mario Brothers 1 for some reason. I'll start up a challenge in Super Mario Brothers 1 and forget which objective I'm supposed to be doing that time because they almost all take place in 1-1 one, one, and 1-2. One, yeah. Oh, hey, look, if you didn't know where to uh, place your bomb, John Nintendo has That's where covered. the bomb goes. That That's where it goes. That circle. Oh, my gosh, that's number three off. Number there three. You go. All right, so here's Aquamenas here. And we're gonna do as we do a lot of things. We're gonna give Aquamenas a big hug. Big hugs, lots of hugs going on here. The same way how we're gonna give those frames some hugs in Super Metroid, right? If you insist. Yeah, those frames need some loving too. All right. There's a couple different ways to do this. I tend to take a slightly safer route, but it's still pretty fast when done right. There we go. Beautiful. Now, my bud lack likes to do this from across the pond here, which is technically faster, but I prefer to go over here and take on Lionel this way. But there is a faster way to do that. All right, fingers crossed here. Come on. Nope. Almost went through. This one's a hard one to get the yeah. 176. This, this challenge is always like one second or eight seconds. Yeah, don't kill the frames. We need to save them frames. Do the, the right second here. for a... Oh, no. 
Oh, no, please, please, by all means. I was, I was gonna say, uh, we actually, on the Save the Animals, Kill the Animals, got a $255 donation Ooh. from Shea Fromage that said, let's even the score a bit, shall we? Go, go, gadget, frame saver, and donated to Kill the Animals, so that gap is closing. <laughs> let's keep going, save the frames. Absolutely. If it gets closer, I swear to goodness, I'm for the critters. Okay, I did not like the way that dark nut moved over there. Sorry. And everybody's favorite enemy in this game, the Wizrobe. Better lovingly known in my community as Uncle Wizzy. That's pretty good. Brutal. One. Brutal. I'm just using up all my health. It's okay. Here's Gleok again and again. What are we going to do, chat? We're going to give these bosses a big hug. That was a whole Great second. Run. That was a Great whole run. second. All right, and so like we did last time, we have our legend challenge here, where the legend challenge is asking us to complete the entirety of level one. Um, we don't need the dungeon item because the dungeon item is not necessary for beating the level. So you will see an abbreviated version of this. Um, so there's going to be some detours, grabbing keys that uh, we don't actually go in any of those directions. We just grab them and go. But um, yeah. Sometimes I'll bop myself with the Stalfos and then go, if that'll send me over to the other side of the room. Right now I'm trying to save a few hits here because marathon and all. Can you hug the animals? I love hugging the animals personally, but that's just me. Ah, you were just doing the retro achievements to Zelda 1. You should know all about this. Yeah, I, I had never actually completed Zelda 1 on my own from start to finish. I've played a lot of it in my life for various speedrunning related things, but I've never beaten it for whatever reason. And so I uh, I was playing through Zelda 1 actually quite recently. There you go, by the way. I just saw the, you all just saw the strategy of me grabbing the key from the stealth host and just moving on there. Ooh, I do not like this Gorilla pattern. Ooh, that's right. It, that's right. It. Those do a full heart of damage if they get you, so. Well, they gave you some passage, thank goodness. They sure did. All right, again, we are going to go give Aquamenus a big old hug. Kept knocking me back. I did not like that. I usually get here with less health than you had, so. All right. Now over well to done. Metroid. Here's here's Metroid. And again, folks, remember, save the frames. Save the frames. There's about a $400 gap between kill the animals and save the animals, which is much lower than it was about 10 minutes ago. Let's go. A lot of the challenges in Metroid are uh, pretty straightforward. Um, some of them are just cross a room. Some of them's collect an item. Um, the legend challenge for this one is equally as straightforward. It's just climb to the top of a room. Uh, but boy, is this game... Hey, if you've never played NES Metroid, do yourself a favor. Spend some time. It's, Spend uh, some time. <laughs> it's it's a real it's a real interesting mixed bag. How so off? Like, what was your experience with it when you were playing this? Uh, the retro achievements, or sorry, the uh, the the NES World Championship set of uh, challenges are all straightforward enough that I think that it doesn't really give you the full picture of how tough this game can be to play. Um, you know, that was really good. <laughs> that was really good. That was very sharp. Yo, what's up, Spike? But yeah, uh, this did inspire me. I might eventually try the Retro Achievement set for this, because I really do enjoy... Whoa, did you see that? Mm-hmm. No! Thank you, John Nintendo. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll bring you back. <laughs> The one thing that's really frustrating about uh, the challenges in Metroid in this game is that uh, there's a lot of times where if you fall into the sand or the lava, um, it just rewinds you when you could have perfectly easily gotten out. So it punishes you for things it really shouldn't punish you for. But uh, that's that's a small complaint. It's an odds recommendation. Therefore, don't try it. Nah, us. Likes plenty of games. Off likes Bubsy One, Claws Encounter of the Furred Kind. Yes, you cannot make that one up. Uh, Off runs some gems here on GDQ like Titanic, Rocky and Bullwinkle, The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle SNES. Off runs some real gems here on GDQ. 
La Mulana Rando, which is his favorite. We've seen it all. We really have. All right, we're uh, we're getting some hugs here. Hi, Craig. So, you want some hugs? So there is a challenge for beating Craig and beating uh, Ridley. Um, some of the strats for beating these bosses nice. can be kind of tricky. Um, and honestly, they give you enough health to work with that it's really not that bad to just face tank most of these bosses. Um, so. That's what you'll see. I'm kind of surprised that the challenge set for um, Metroid did not involve fighting Mother Brain, but the Mother Brain fight um, is at least a little more technical, wow. perhaps. Did you see that room? Yeah, you dodged that really well. All right, so here, got a fun strat. Again, more hugs for Ridley. Come on, Ridley. Uh, that felt so laggy. Still a good room, though. good room. All right. So right here while I'm running, I switched to missiles. Pretty easy thing to do. I love the uh, screw attack. It's so handy in rooms like this. So here, this is a little more trickier than it looks. So you have to make sure you do that, go up, make the bridge appear. Come on, Samus. Okay, that was not the hard part. <laughs> All right, cool. This one was always one of my uh, kryptonites, so to speak. Yeah, this, this, this one can get away from you really easily. So this is just running through the Metroid rooms. Um, if they grab you, it rewinds you, despite the fact that grabbing you is not like a death sentence or anything like that, which can be a little bit frustrating. They really want you to just get through here without ever getting grabbed. Um, Ooh, I don't know how I didn't get around there, but you know what? We take it. Yeah. All right, here we go. It and is now time. The climb. Sky wisely takes a slightly safer strat than I do for this. I always go for the most annoying version of this stage, but or this uh, this screen, but it's literally just a climb. Um, this is the escape at the end of the game, and it can be tricky, but Sky's making it look easy. Wow. Well done. That was a very good Metroid segment overall. And now, and now, and now. <laughs> yeah, Sky really doesn't like uh, Donkey Kong. I'm, I mean, I, I definitely understand why. It's got some randomness in it that can be really frustrating. Uh, some of these challenges are kind of nothing. Climb a ladder, grab a hammer. Um, but unfortunately, once you get into some of the longer challenges, especially the ones involving stages uh, two and three, um, those can be really temperamental because you're at the mercy of the randomness. By the way, totally have climbed to the top of the room on that little hammer challenge we just did before off. Mm -hmm. I've done it too, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, if you don't like Donkey Kong, would you like a quick donation to cheer you up? Oh, yes. I love Donkey Kong, but I don't like that this, this version of Donkey Kong, but I would love donations. I always love those. Well, we have $50 that came in from Blue Thunder 50 who said, I went to a general store, but they wouldn't let me buy anything specific. Mm. <laughs> That's terrible. I told my, uh, my community to donate in puns, so Off has to listen to them all. We'll keep so sending in those the, puns. This is the biggest source of randomness right here is dealing with these fires. Um, Would you like an engraved invitation? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so unfortunately, the fastest strat in this stage is just not really... Um, not really viable um, just due to randomness. Um, there is a slightly faster way to get to the top, but it's just uh, banking on the fire not going a direction you don't want it to. So um, Sky's choosing to play this um, in a much more consistent way, which is exactly what she should do. If we weren't in a marathon, I'd probably play it a little more risky, but in a marathon... It is nice that in Legendary Trial, you get to start with uh, Donkey Kong. 
um, because while this is not a very long challenge, um, at least the legend trial uh, for this one, um, it's not a very long challenge. It is long enough to be an annoyance. So, uh, we're supposed to get those things. See them? The circled things? Yep. No, I, I recognize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad they told us. It's like uh, one of those football grids, right? Like the, with the X's and the O's. All right, this is what we're taking out. Okay. I... All right, you, you can just camp that. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, uh, look at that. They're sitting right over that. Yeah, and you... I don't, I don't think he's going to make it easy for you. Oh, gosh. Okay. 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 You know what? I'll take it. Yeah, that's what I mean when I talk about the rewind actually being a huge asset. Um, they, they sometimes just make it worth it to play a little bit risky and and accept the small rewind if you get it. You gotta admit, I've had some really harsh RNG here so far. Yeah. A lot of fireball camping. <laughs> I'll see if I can nail this uh, legendary trial version of this, though. If I could hop in here for a quick update on Saver Kill please the do. Animals. Yes, there is a yes, less than a $300 difference now between the two. Keep getting those donations in. We can save those frames and we can kill those animals. You know, I never liked those animals. Can I just be honest with you? Yeah, okay. me neither. I'm those all animals, for charity, all right? Those but animals dang. in particular, I've got a problem with them. That is so mean. They're so cute. Other animals are you're they? fine with, though. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I love animals. Hey, that was a good 75 meter, finally. Was. <laughs> and now you have a 100 meter. Oh, gosh, why? Sky takes a different route through 100 meter than I do. The game uh, recommends a, a slightly different route as well. But unfortunately, I, I think what Sky is doing is actually the smarter play in general um, because uh, these fires can be really unpredictable. And the recommended route for this is to go up the left side and down the right side. It requires the least amount of walking. Um, but unfortunately, it just becomes too temperamental to deal with the fires underneath you not letting you get back down. Um, um, so, approaching it in this way is actually hey! much more consistent. That was good. That was good. That was good. By now the way, Kid Icarus. this is the hardest one to get an S in. I'm not going to be getting an S here, I'll tell you yeah, now. This, the <laughs> first challenge for Kid Icarus is, is low-key one of the hardest S ranks in the game. I don't know what they were thinking when they made this S rank, but it is nonsense. You know, if I had to choose one thing to go well in Donkey Kong, the uh, legend difficulty was a good one. Beautiful. This is one of my favorite rooms. <laughs> Just in the labyrinth. I shouldn't be getting this. I'm eventually going to learn a route where I don't have to do this, but for now, I'll probably end up seeing that room in the labyrinth. Yeah, right. it doesn't take a long time to just refill, and then you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, especially in a marathon setting. It's, it's just nice to have. So the challenges for Kid Icarus uh, center on basically completing the first level and completing the first um, dungeon level, the, the first um, final level of the, 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 the last level of the first world. Um, and so it's going to give her uh, the challenge to take this in pieces. So each of the milestones along the way, and then uh, at the very end, It'll have her put the whole thing together and then finally put the whole final dungeon together. And then there's this just because? Yeah, these are some challenge rooms, side rooms in some of the castle levels. Um, I, I'm not Good sure enough. if this one's from the castle level or I think this might be one of the side rooms in the first level. Um, so here, if you're doing it right, this screen should be scrolling most of the time. So like right here, notice how the screen doesn't stop? Well, I mean, you, you start at a disadvantage because the screen's already caught up to you at the beginning of the challenge. Usually yeah. the screen would be far behind you at that point. All right, now we have the whole 1-1 uh, one -one here from Kid Icarus. Uh, it's definitely a different 1-1 one -one from like any of the Mario's. It's just the difficulties up there, right? Fortunately, um, you know, once you kind of have a grasp on what you're supposed to be doing and where you're supposed to be going, you can play this one pretty aggressively. There is a pickup that refills your health about halfway through, and um, as long as you keep moving and you know the route, it's not too bad. Uh, but 
the platforming is quite tricky in this game. Um, it just, I mean, just my opinion, but it, it feels very different than a lot of other games. And so it can be a little bit challenging to get the rhythm for, especially right on the heels of having played, you know, a variety of other NES games. Yeah, now the world record will uh, play all the games like together. Like, you know, it'll go down the first row and the second row. I prefer to play all the games at the same time, so I'll have a kid or Chris at once, etc. Oh, death, why? I used to try to like platform around it, but by the time I spent the time doing it, I could have just done what I'm doing right now. Oh, look yeah. at this, Oth. Uh, yeah, it's wow. They that can give good. you some trouble, but but you made the right call here. That's a good underworld. So now we have everybody's favorite. Oh, Yo, by the way, eggplant wizards. If you get an eggplant on, yeah, four. If you get an eggplant on your head, you're forced to rewind. Yep. They didn't think people would figure out how to get rid of the eggplant, so. All right, and now there's only one room I have to make sure I pay attention to inputs for, because it'll cost you three minutes if you miss this one input. It's not hard, you just have to be paying attention. Also, those ladder hitboxes are a thing. Yeah, you can't grab the ladder if you're moving horizontally at all, so... Now, Oth, what do you use to play this on? Because I use a SNES controller, actually, to play this. The Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo controller made for uh, Switch. Well, I always use the the Switch-approved uh, PlayStation 5 controller to play my <laughs> Switch. Uh, normally I won in, but I'm in a marathon. Normally I just go for it on that amount of health, but... Yeah, you have... You have triple the health I usually do by this point. By this point, I'm I'm down to my last few dregs of health. If I wasn't in a marathon, I actually may have gone for it there. Yeah, a lot of damage boosting here. Oh, goodness. Okay, I'm glad I didn't... Okay. That is not the intended route, but you know what? We'll take it. Okay. At first, my mind was like, I go straight here, right? And then what you saw was a combination of the two. I'm going to do that just to be safe here. So what I do here for Cerberus is tend to get right up next to it. Yeah, not a bad strap. Right here, if you can get into this area. A little sketchy here, a little sketchy, but this is typically the way I do Cerberus. There we go. Hold on. Yeah, you All mostly right. just want to keep him from walking too much. A little more familiar territory. This is very familiar <laughs> compared to everything we were just at. This is kind of the uh, the calm before the storm. Uh, I believe it's uh, Excite Bike, um, Ice Climber, Balloon Fight in some kind of order there. Oh my gosh! Okay, is that number five or number six? Something like that. That's a PB on a hard challenge to PB on. Yep. That one I don't know. I always forget what I need to do to get an S there. Yep, we gave Cerberus some hugs. Why not? Cerberus is what? A three-headed doggy? Why not? Cerberus needs some love too. Three times as many pets. Well, you ventured through this familiar territory. Uh, would you like to hear a couple donations? Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, $50 came in from Big Head for direct relief that said, happy uh, to donate for such a great cause. Watch out for the physics in Ice Climber Sky. Oh, my God. <laughs> did. And I bet you Big Head spelled that with an F. Physics. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually in quotes. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Big Head. Uh, also, Ray of Light sent in $10 and said, Best of luck with the run, Sky. Here's hoping that ice climbers are nice climbers tonight. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Ice climbers Thank mentions you. coming on in. Also, uh, Safe Kill the Animals is still under $300, about $290 difference. So get those donations in. We can close that gap. Also, we are only $20 away from $37,000. So we can kill two birds with one stone and kill the animals with one stone and donate $20 to kill the animals and we'll also hit $37,000. 
dollars. That was a good pun, right? Oh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Oscar, did you see that? That was good, PP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am getting way more PVs than I was expecting to. That's a good one here. Oh, here we go. This one is uh, one of the first tricks you actually learn when you're speedrunning Mario 2, you. There we go. Got it first try. Effortless, right? Yep. Why work hard when you can work smart? All right, Auth and I were actually practicing this one right before the run. If everybody donated one buck per PV I'm making, we'd have a lot of bucks, I'm just saying. How and many I'm not PVs talking is it so far? And I'm, oh, uh, six, five, I want to say. Five, six, all right, all right. Like and I'm not talking about the poor animals that are probably going to get killed. You know, Auth, I'm getting everything but Mauser here. Mm hmm. Often <laughs> I had to talk about. I told I told you how to. I know. Awesome. I know. I know. I was just having a good time juggling the bombs, and I did not realize that that Mouser's was. Mouser's not... got sunglasses. He's way too cool to be hit by a bomb. <laughs> Anyways, I've seen worse. There wasn't too too bad. Jokes aside. Oh my gosh! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. All right. Mouser that, that wears was... his motorcycle jacket indoors. I just want to give a quick shout out to my friend Oglub for the whale of attachment here. Uh, we uh, do a lot of uh, races of um, Mario All-Stars and we always talk about the whale of attachment on these stages. So, yeah, that one was for you, Glib. Nicely done. Thank you, thank you. Nice recovery. I was very much off... Uh, off my traditional strategy for there for a second. Why are we playing as Mario? I always complain about this every time, and it's like, this is he's not- he's so well-rounded. No, no. I mean, literally, in my opinion, Mario is the worst of the four characters in this game. He's just got nothing going for him. If I was Toad, I could pick up a vegetable and run faster. If I was Luigi, I could do some pretty fun uh, jump overs. I guess Peach would be worse, maybe, technically on this level, because Peach is not fast. Or at this time, Toadstool. Princess. Okay. There we go. I always have to take the hit there just to make sure that goes off. Now the Birdo fight. Okay, got the got the early egg there. Not bad, not bad. Sometimes I have to wait a little while after I merge from that door, so it was good getting that. I believe all the eggs are shot on a global timer, if I remember. Yep, 255 frame timer. All right, here we go off. What do you want to say about Excite Bike besides shout outs to Andrew G, who's done a lot of work on Excite Bike? Okay, Excite Bike is one of the hardest games I've ever played. Uh, this game is impossible. Anyone who's good at Excite Bike, uh, they're cooking. Um, it's, <laughs> it's hard. I'd just like to hop in here real quick and yeah. say that we have reached $37,000 in total raised over the course of the marathon. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, that I think it was an additional $25 that put us over the line that I think went towards save the animals. Come on. Come on, we don't need to save those animals. We can kill them. Well, now the gap is just over $300, so anyone who wants to kill the animals and save the frames, get those donations in. Let's close that gap again. But thank you so much for your generous donation, and we really, really appreciate it. 37 k hype. Heck yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for your donations to Direct Relief. Oh, did I? Are, are my eyes failing me, or did I just see an S rank in Excite Bike in a marathon? You're doing it. We're, we're living the dream here because people, living... people said it couldn't be done. <laughs> I don't know who those people are, but they said it and they were wrong. No, <laughs> we got a rough break there. That's all right. There we go. Yeah, going fast to Excite Bike is just very challenging. There's a lot of little techniques, little subtle things that aren't obvious when you're watching someone who's good at it play it. And uh, balancing all of those at the same time and trying not to overheat, trying not to crash, 
all those at the same time is really, really challenging. I have a lot of respect for people who are good at Excite Bike, and there are many people who are extremely good at Excite Bike. So, Oz, would you call it a plus that this game gets you to play games that you wouldn't normally play, like Excite Bike, or sure. is that a bad thing? <laughs> no, I, I had never really spent a lot of time with Excite Bike. I just didn't have any interest in this kind of gave me a taste of it, and I ended up playing a lot more of it, actually. Um, I ended up sitting down and just playing through Excitebike and, and trying to get good at it, because it's it's very challenging to be good at Excitebike. <laughs> yeah, so far, what do we have? Two or three S's in Excitebike so far? I don't want to speak too loudly, because these last two, they're real doozy. They're really difficult. Yeah, the last one asks you to do two laps on a really tough stage, so... Um, like, getting an S rank at all is pretty challenging. Um, there's kind of a, a, a running theme throughout Nintendo World Championships, the, the game, um, where a lot of the challenges are really tough to get an S rank in, but for some reason, almost all of the Legend challenges are, are pretty easy to get an S rank in. If you just, Not this one. <laughs> this one in particular is a Nightmare Legend challenge. It asks you to do two laps uh, pretty pretty clean. You have to be pretty clean in order to get an S rank on it, so. Yeah, this is, uh, if I get quiet here for a sec, I just want to make sure I'm, oh my goodness gracious me. want to make sure I'm kind of paying attention to what I'm doing here for a sec. And I won't do that too often. I like to have fun and play, but here this is, this uh, course is no joking matter. Yeah, one of the things that makes Excite Bike, in my opinion, so challenging in uh, Nintendo World Championships is that um, it's very easy to crash or overheat if you're trying to be really fast and efficient. And if you crash or overheat, the uh, game rewinds you. And man, like this that. game is so easy to just end up in this endless loop of rewinding and crashing, going further and further and further back. I think I recovered nicely from that, considering. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's easy to play this when everything goes right, but it's really hard to continue when things just aren't going the best. Come on. Okay, now we're in the home stretch here. You know what? I'll take a plus plus on my A stroke. Oh yeah, no! <laughs> no! And now everyone's favorite ice climber, which you would think fun. wouldn't be that bad because most of these challenges are just like climb one ledge, right? Like a lot of these challenges are just climb one ledge, climb five ledges. Um, ice climbers is impossible. I'm sorry. If I ever meet a person who's like, I'm good at ice climber, I'm suspicious. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to make of that person. This is a value judgment on people who like and are, are good at Ice Climber. Well, not bad so far. We gotta keep going, though. All right. So now we have to collect these. The routing for this one in particular, because one of the eggplants starts out behind you, is a little tricky. Hey! Oh my gosh! An S on Ice Climber! What? Pretty impressive. <laughs> No. All right, you know what? We're just going to start over there. Yeah, not a bad idea. The The platforms are on a cycle here, so probably just faster to take the loss and go again. I have feelings about this right now, Mr. Blues. Yeah, the what? platforms, their hitboxes just make no sense. This game was truly designed by the sort of person who hoped people had less fun saw a bunch of people playing video games and saying, I think there's too much fun going on here. Yeah, there's too much fun going on in this championship. We have to we have to humble our runners here. Even some of the best speed runners of this game, uh, GTA's Upla, for example, like I don't I don't think anybody likes this. I don't think anybody is like, ah oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this segment. While this right. game is humbling the runners, we are close to humbling the animals because we are uh, we have less than a two hundred dollar gap now between save and kill the animals thanks to a oh my gosh more donations just popped up uh, thanks to a one hundred dollar donation from Amazing Toaster that said those animals are looking pretty shaggy. Where's the option to shave the animals? 
Oh. Ah, uh, this bird. No! I can't tell you how many times this... this uh... <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Get me out of here. <laughs> and now you get to play Balloon Fight, your favorite. Now I get to play Balloon Fight. Oh, joy. <laughs> I really like Balloon Fight, personally. Um, but the challenges in this one can be pretty tricky to do fast. Like, I think it's a fun game. I, I really enjoy playing it. Um, trying to go really fast in Balloon Fight is pretty tough. Hey, we have another you know, fun donation that just came in. Do you mind if yeah. I uh, let you know about yeah. it? Uh, yeah, please. James Swan donated $6, saying, a dollar for every PB Sky has gotten so far. Let's start a PB amount dono train going to save the frames. Kill the animals. Oh, you had me there. Oh, oh that was my good. gosh. Wow. Yeah, that okay, was a good, you know, that was a good one. More, more donations for PBs, y'all. It's contagious. Let's do it. Love PB donations. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. This is good. Ah! Okay. That's hard. That one's really hard. So this is level three of Balloon Fight, and then the Legend Challenge is just beating levels one, two, and three all in a row. Um, it's not that bad, but the problem is, is that with Balloon Fight, um, it's very easy to make a small mistake, and when you can just reach reset a three-second challenge, it's very different than having to play all three stages back-to-back. -back. Um, also, Balloon Fight has this interesting property where when you take a hit and you lose one of your balloons, it actually becomes harder to control. Um, and so you're... You are uh, made weaker every time you make a mistake and you kind of have to live with it going forward. So you, you lose a balloon and you keep that balloon lost into uh, later challenges. What is going on here? Uh. That guy got away from me, but you're good. Uh, I never knew about the balloon getting weaker or you getting weaker if you lose a balloon and now I'm terrified. Yeah. That's oh my gosh. Annoying. That was a great challenge. This guy's <laughs> crushing it out here. I'm having a lot of fun. I hope y'all are having a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. I love this speedrun so much, Off. And I think it kind of thrives on the whole, like, I love multi-game speedruns. You know, the shuffler we've seen before. Yeah. Just kind of. I'm in my element here, you know? I like Good. it. All right, so here, again, some really cute challenges. These are, and again, these are harder to get S's on. I cannot stress that enough for these tiny challenges. Oh my gosh. What is that, eight? Sky's finding places to save time all over the place that you all donate to killing the animals. I we actually had a couple my... of really nice donations for saving the animals that are like that, we're that, not are, gonna so, read. that are so nice. Well, we have five dollars from Anonymous that says, "Hey Sky, happiest of dudes here. Did you know that when Mario dances with Goombas, they just stomp to the beat?" Oh. Sorry, off. I don't get these in often. Good luck with the rest of the run. Save the animals. That was so kind and generous that I I can't be upset. But also now, save the animals is in the lead again by about four hundred dollars, a little under four hundred dollars. So thank you so much, everyone, getting these donations in for your save or kill the animals. Keep on asserting your opinions, uh, even if they're the <laughs> wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, donations are donations to direct relief. What a cause, you know? Again, Auth and I were, we were very lucky to not have a lot of damage from the storm, but our community was affected by it. So those donations go a long way to helping our community as well here in Western North Carolina. So again, thank you so much. This means so much to me to have myself and Auth here, um, just being able to help out. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we were very fortunate, but, but, not everyone around us, even directly around us, uh, or not. So this is Voss' favorite, Mario 3. He does not like Mario 3. He likes SMW better. <laughs> well, yeah, but SMW's not in this, so SMB3 wins by default. <laughs> this actually uh, shows... Uh, go yeah. 
Uh, oh, no, I was just going to ask about more donations. But go ahead. You say first, and then if we have any more. Oh, I was just going to comment. It kind of shows the difference in speedrun strats versus uh, uh, challenges in this game. Like, for instance, you would never jump for the wand in SMB3 because it's actually slower to jump for the wand. But in these challenges in particular, the time ends when you grab the wand, so it's it's faster to go for it. So. All right, so I'm going to do the frog stage, and then after that, if we have more donations, we can get to them. I just want to make sure I do this frog stage. It's actually way more technical than this one looks, because uh, who uses the frog suit like this? Well, it's you know? not just that. Like, the frog suit's really good. The problem is, is that this challenge also requires you to end the level with the frog suit. So if you take a hit, it's not like you can just keep going. Uh, the game will insist that you go back and get the frog suit. Um, so it's... It's, it's a tougher challenge than it might look. Look at that, Oz. Well done. All right. That was pretty good. All right, uh, if we have more donations, uh, feel free to go for it. We absolutely do. So we have plenty of donations coming in for direct relief, uh, keeping this save the animals, kill the animals race uh, really, really tight. We had $20 come in from Shea Fromage that said an extra 20 for nailing my name. Let's go, Skybills. <laughs> Heck yeah. We also had $25 from MK that said, since it's the last day, are we able to add an incentive to make gymnasts get the talk to cat suit and echoes? I donate again for that. And that is for that uh, Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom run coming up later today, which is going to be awesome. So stick around for that. We also had $50 donated to Direct Relief from Umrog T-Bird that just said, save those animals. Thank you so much for that generous donation. Keeping that save the animals, kill the animals race really, really tight. And $56 from Jell who said, what? No, save the frames. $50 plus the Sky PB tax, which I think is actually at seven or eight. It's at eight now, correct? We got one as of this. Is anybody keeping track? I think chat's been no. keeping track. Ten? Ten. That's ten. ten. Wow. We're ten. Wow. Ten PBs. That's incredible. Ten dollar uh, uh, donation uh. train if you are able for ten PBs. Yeah, let's and congrats, go. Sky Bills, on so many PBs during this run. Uh, Jill also said, happy to add more, was less than a mile away from serious destruction during Halid. Lucky to be able to donate. Thank you so much for that generous donation. And uh, lastly for this block, we got $10 from Amaya Sings that says, you're killing it, Sky. Your run has been a lot of fun so far, and it's great hearing off on commentary, too. Keep crushing it, you two. I fully agree with that. You're both crushing it. Thank you, Amaya. I really appreciate that. Thank you. So it is possible to get P-Speed in this stage, but getting it without wandering off the edge is very difficult. So instead, just going to take a nice, you know, easy stroll through the stage. I don't want to talk about the amount of time I've lost in almost every <laughs> run I've done of this, oh insisting that I go for P-Speed. 11. Well done. My PB doesn't even have this many PBs in it, if that makes sense. I think I follow that logic. <laughs> I mean, that's the way math works, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's numbers. <laughs> and I want to let y'all know now, my uh, times in this game were already competitive. Like, it's not like I was, you know, not trying hard or not, uh, not putting work into this. I mean, I don't know where a lot of these PVs are coming from. They're just kind of here right now. Oh, Mario. You get in that door. This is another one of those challenges where you actually um, can't play too aggressively because it will rewind you if you lose the hammer suit. Um, so you, you have to play aggressive with the hammers, but not so much that you lose your power up. More plants. I do want to... Aw, beans. I was going to say, I want to note that I've actually been playing Mario 3 for a lot longer than most of these games. So some of this is uh, years and years and years of just this and All-Stars experience. I did get some PVs in the green room. It's true. I was warming up for my run and got a few small PVs. But small PVs can add up. Right. And now we have the Legend Challenge, which is being the entirety of World 1, probably one of the longer 
uh, legend challenges in this game. I would say this one's probably a difficult S rank if you're not really familiar with um, the techniques of SMB3 speedrunning. Um, me and Sky have both done some light SMB3 speedrunning, I would say. Well, Sky's definitely done much more than I have. I've done light SMB3 speedrunning. Um, and so, uh, you know, it's it's pretty attainable to get an S rank on this this challenge. I would like to register a complaint with the name of this. It says World One Wizard. Uh, excuse me, in the wizard, they were allowed to take the uh, warp in the fortress, but we're forced to do what I like to call DLC content, and uh, we have to actually take down Boom Boom in the next stage. Yeah, it's like they were so afraid you'd use the warp whistle that they don't even let you go to the warp whistle to to exit the fortress. Why not just rewind it if you use the warp whistle? Like Cowards, because they're cowards. Like, is there any, like, logistics thing where they couldn't do that in the menu? No, probably not. I didn't know if that was, like, a thing or something. Nope. Yeah, typically an SMB3 speedrun would just go up right there. Um... What are hitboxes? All right, let's go take out Boom Boom. The old-fashioned way. I'm just not used to going through that room at all. What does yeah. the game do if you get a warp whistle? It doesn't let you. It, like, will rewind you. And it's not just this game either. For example, uh, another glitch that the game doesn't let you do, if you try to screen scroll in Zelda 1, you know, we all know the famous screen scroll, uh, it will say strategy not found. Strategy yeah. not found. Strategy unavailable, yeah. Um, or, yeah it does unavailable. have a lot of uh, little glitches. Um, you know, the wrong warp in SMB 1. Um, there's some strategies that you might try to do in a few other levels. So, for instance, uh, clipping through blocks in uh, Kid Icarus is disallowed. Uh, there's a, a glitch where you can climb through a platform and go out of bounds in Donkey Kong. That's not allowed. Um, they've, they've programmed in logic specifically to prevent you from doing those strategies. All right, grabbing the tail here. I'm going to try to get flight once. If I don't get it, I'll take the ride of shame. Don't think I'm going to get it. Can I get this? All right, all right, all right. You know what? I'll take it. No ride of shame here. We'll call that a backup. That's a backup. That's a good on-the-fly backup. You see what I did there? <laughs> Sorry, chat. All right, yeah, we have a uh, auto scroller coming up though. So if there's any more donations, feel free to go for it. Oh, we absolutely do. That PB train is going strong here, starting with ten dollars from Mr. Game and Shout that said, "Anytime Sky is running is a good time. Put this donation towards no pants." Oh wait, what? What do you mean that's closed? Ah, dang it. All right, I'll let Spef choose where this one goes, and I think you all know where this is going. It's going towards killing the animals, which is now behind by. Just over $400 because we have a lot of Save the Animals enthusiasts, and I love you all. <laughs> I appreciate you all. But come on, let's save those frames. Let's kill those animals. We also had $10 from Sturgitron that says 10 for 10, you say? I'll opt in. And $10 from Nat, who said, wonderful mini marathon this weekend. $10 donation train for Sky. Save the animals. You want to know why? Because I love critters. If you couldn't tell by the little uh, frog statue behind me on the couch, that's uh, that's uh, Gary the Frog from Critter Vision, uh, and they show critters on their channel a ton, so I always have uh, Gary watching my speedruns behind me. But yeah, as a matter of fact, Don, I have three monitors, and I have a monitor dedicated to just watching 24-7 critter channels. Why did I do that? <laughs> have it. Yeah, because you have to do it like eight times in this game. <laughs> what is your uh, critter channel of choice at the moment? Uh, critter Vision. Yeah, that's their that's their uh, their mascot on the back. Uh, Gary. Still pretty good time for Mario Three. All right, Zelda Two. I said I have learned to love this game through this. So. Zelda Two is great. I'm not looking forward to this fairy off. Oh, it's easy. Mm -hmm. 
Oops. There we go. Oh my gosh, I got an S rank on the ferry. I'm not good at that one. Yeah, so a lot of the challenges in Zelda 2 are just focused on, um, for the most part, they're focused on all of the content that works up to Palace 1 for Appa Palace. Uh, there are a few challenges in here that do very small segments of other dungeons, uh, but for the most part, it's just uh, Parappa Palace, so it's familiar territory, not too difficult. Um, but Zelda 2 is a challenging game, you know, combat in Zelda 2 takes a lot of finesse, takes a lot of technique, and, uh, you know, Sky doesn't have a lot of experience with Zelda 2, or at least didn't before this, and she's really kind of picked it up, and now she's a Zelda 2 expert. I don't know if I'd say expert. Expert, but... yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah, she's an expert. By the way, Auth have totally jumped over that Stalfos and gone to the back of that room before during that precise mm -hmm. challenge. Yep, just forgetting which challenge you're doing. Been Remember, there. chat, reading. Reading is important. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's tough. That's tough to get him before he jumps. That's another PV. What is that, 12 now? I think that's it is 12. 12. Sounds yeah. like 12, yeah. You can get the swag pee bag here. Don't, no. You don't have to. <sighs> oh my gosh, it's hard to get an S in the crumbling bridge off. Dang. If you'd gotten the swag pee bag, you would have gotten a, an S rank probably. All right. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, it's hard but rewarding. I saw that comment in the chat. It's very true. I'd also like to point out that the uh, with the 12th PB, that updates the PB train to $12, but the $10 PB train is still very much appreciated, uh, as well as the $11 PB train, very briefly, uh, in which we got one donation during that period of time from Blue Thunder 50 for $11 <laughs> instead of making a PB train donation. It's only common sense. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. You love to hear it. Yeah, so this is one of the challenges that are outside of Dungeon 1. This is the Revenac fight uh, from, what, Palace 2, 3, something like mm -hmm. that. Um, this is a tough fight to do fast. It really is. Come on. Getting Revenac off the heckin' horse. Maybe this is why we need to go after the animals in Super Metro. That horse is not nice. Wow. A lot of hate for horses all of a sudden. Well, that horse is it nice to be fair, okay? <laughs> that horse is not on trial here, okay? <laughs> Maybe that's one of the horses on Planet Zemis. That would explain <laughs> his bad attitude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Right. Good stuff. That was oddly precise too to get an S. This challenge can take a while right here, but um, because nice speedrunners, <laughs> yeah, because speedrunners do that so fast, it actually ends up being the place where you grind all your coins in in speedrun mode. Um, and this is our legend challenge. It's just beat the entirety of Parappa Palace. Um, now this is a little bit unfair for those of you who are familiar with Zelda 2 speedrunning because you walk in here with a lot of levels already, so um, you really can just kind of ignore as much as you'd like to, um, which is really nice for this challenge. It means you can skip enemies, you really just go for the keys and make your way to the end as quickly as possible. This is the route I know. At first, I'm like, fight the stuff as I'm like, no, this is the full game challenge. Yep. It's really easy to go into autopilot and try to jump over enemies when you need to take care of them and vice versa. Sometimes I'll go into autopilot during some of these longer rooms and make mistakes that way. Dang, that was kind of last second for me. Yeah, those enemies are in particular are annoying because if they hit you, they take away experience. Mm -hmm. Although here, that's not too, too much of an issue. Yeah, I you guess get it depends. More than enough. 
It depends. For me, I, I really like having a health refill uh, midway from getting enough experience, so. Oh, I usually get it too, I'm saying. I usually don't get hit that much where that's an issue. Right. So the other hard thing about Zelda 2 is the rewind feature is not that helpful in this game. You are back yeah. to no health, and it's just really hard to recover from there if you're on a tough section. Yeah, by the time you by the time you're in a position that you're going to rewind, you're already in a bad state. Mm -hmm. Nice, well done. Thanks. This is the one I don't like. I don't like this Goomba here. Yeah, you have to jump a little bit later. It's really awkward timing to get underneath that hammer. They do set you up pretty well with experience so that when you, uh... That, oh. that you'll usually get the, uh, the health refill right before the boss. And I usually use that just to be safe as well. Now, the tricky part is you don't want to drive the boss off screen here. Not bad. Ah, uh, that key's hitbox is something else. Oh my gosh, Ozzy, we did it though. again. Still a PB. <laughs> Still a PB. That's oh 13. man, we have to update the PB train again, and I just got about five <laughs> donations lined up from the last one. Oh wait, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Oh, I make that mistake every time. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, which one is this? Again, reading. It's important. Well, do you have a few donations for us you want to drop off? Oh, I absolutely do. I've got more than a few. Chocolate okay. Dave donated $10 and said, Strange to see Sky not playing their favorite game, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Good luck from the mod team, Sky. Looking forward to losing all your simple sands in Mahjong later. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Uh, we also had $20 donated to Direct Relief from Koritz88 that said $12 for each PB. And they guessed this correctly, but Sky is a gamer and this will probably need to be higher. So add an extra $8 for surviving ice climbers. Oh, yo, thank you. Thank you and they were absolutely correct. We're already at 13 PBs. Uh, Big Head also donated $12, saying $12 for 12 PBs. The raccoons are cheering you on. No, they are. It's true. And then James Swan donated $6 and said, here with six more dollars to match the six PB Sky has gotten since my last donation. Sky is killing this run, just like we should kill the animals in the Metroid run coming Correct. up. Keep the PB <laughs> dono train coming. Ah. And the dream is still alive. The difference between save and kill the animals is just over $400 right now, which might seem like a lot, but I promise you, with the power of everyone's PB donations, if you just put them towards killing those animals, we can close that gap, we can kill those animals and save the frames. A little bit of a re rewind there, but it's okay. I had a good stare and still got an S. That was generous. She can't be stopped. Oh my gosh, Oth, I got the stairs right there. Nice. <laughs> that is a really hard staircase to get. I just always end up bonking there for some reason. So this is 9-1. They want to show you, hey, look, there's extra stages and lost levels. You're swimming in the overworld. It's just Nintendo showing off here. Yeah, come on, Nintendo. I can swim in the overworld anytime I want to. Oh, look at that. That was something I hadn't seen in a hot minute. New PB! That's 14. <laughs> 14 PBs! And here's the Legend Challenge. This is one of the shortest Legend Challenges, I think. It um, is, This yeah. one's really just asking you to complete, uh, what, 8-2? Um, mm -hmm. Not too bad. There is a little bit of a tricky maneuver here. Nailed it. Oh, but that's sky's okay. sky's too good. Can't be stopped. That's okay. I'm just happy I got it. Just happy to be here, you know. <laughs> yeah. Darn glad to be invited. Darn glad to be invited. All right. And here we and are in our perfect. final game. 
By the way, Auth have totally completed this first room before realizing that's what I needed to do. Been there. <laughs> and you do a lot of damage boosting through Kirby. You do a lot of damage boosting through Kirby. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Another PB. That's 15! We're, we're Damon in the club over here, right? Come on, Kirby. Kirby just does a ton of odd things, and it's like, it, Kirby doesn't always do what you want Kirby to do. I don't know if you find it that way off, but Kirby is not easy to control. I would agree with that. I, I think um, while Kirby Kirby's Adventure is not a, a hard game by any measure, I think that um, going fast at Kirby is definitely a skill that is hard to learn. Ah, oh, come on, game. All right, this is all RNG. This is a big RNG fest right here. Yeah, unfortunately, this this uh, challenge, as far as I know, is just pure luck. Uh, whether or not Wispy drops uh, the the acorns, or whether or not he um, acorns or apples, I don't know. Whatever they're. Oh, perfect to do. RNG. Yep. Oh, it's another PB. That's sixteen. <laughs> Thank you, Wispy Woods. I'm just that helping was... people count. Sixteen. Thanks, Wispy. Come on, Kirby. All right. This is another challenge that uh, actually has a little bit of, at least as far as I know, it's randomness to it. Um, whether or not, uh, I've forgotten his name. Um, Bonkers? Bonkers, whether or not he uh, swings his hammer twice before uh, pausing or once, um, and that changes how long it takes to finish the challenge. You gotta go up, uh, that's what John Nintendo says. Okay, I'm seeing the arrow, but I'm still not understanding. Can you gotta explain go it to me differently? Nope, gotta go up. Okay, so that's the only... All right, well, I'll make as, the best of it. As in number, go up. I mean like the number of donations for Kill the Animals? Oh my gosh! Where are these coming from? That can't be another one, Sky. It was. Oh my goodness. I am on fire! I'll be here all night, y'all. Literally. I'm hosting a couple runs after this. struggle with this challenge for some reason. Huh? I always struggle with this challenge in particular for some reason. I don't know why I have such a hard time going fast at, at defeating Meta Knight's buddies, but... It's laggy. It, it is, and also, like, some of them will block your shots. It just... I feel yeah. like it always trips me up. Alright, so now it's the entirety of 1-1. They love these 1-1 challenges, and you want to know what the funny thing is about this. It makes sense. You're going to see 1-1 one, one in so many traditional speedruns a ton, so you better get used to 1-1, one, one, you know? Just period. You're going to be playing it a lot. Okay. This is an example of Kirby not cooperating with me. Oh, off. also the doors, right? The doors in this. Yeah, what about them? The hit detection on the doors is uh, questionable. I haven't had a lot of problems with doors, but I do have uh, sometimes problems with maneuvering myself to them. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to hop in here with some quick math for you all that I've been doing mm -hmm. on the side. Um, now yeah. that we are at 17 PBs, all we need is for 26 and a half of you viewers out there in chat to donate 
to the PB train with $17 in order to close the gap between kill and save the animals. I am abusing my position as host here to uh, further my own agenda of wanting to kill the animals and save the frames, and I've done the math for you. So if I could just convince 26.5 of you to get in here, celebrate these 17 PBs with a $17 donation, uh, and then we could do that and also pass $38,000 raised for direct relief during this marathon, which would be absolutely, absolutely incredible during this run. There we go. Unfortunately, I had to do a do-over there, but I'm kind of glad I did because this one's way better. Come on. All right. I made the classic speedrunner mistake of looking at the clock while playing. <laughs> yeah, I hate to say it. Yeah, that's okay though. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Kirby's gonna do the best that Kirby can do here. I don't know if this is the route you take through this stage. It is a perfectly viable route. That is not the route you take. Got it. N no. We used to have this old joke back in the SMW community called Sky Strats. Sometimes I would just invent my own strats and <laughs> sometimes it wasn't always the fastest, but I'd find some new stuff every now and then. So this is the Krako fight. Again, uh, not a ton of room for error here. Krako uh, kind of hits hard. And when I say hits hard, I mean takes your ability away and then you have to spend all that time getting it back. Yeah, the real the real problem with Kirby's Adventure is pretty much every time you take any sort of hit, you lose your power up and you have to go chase it down. So um, while Kirby is not a difficult game, I don't think, I still stand by that. Uh, it unfortunately for these challenges becomes basically you have to do everything perfectly if you want to get a good time. All right, we're almost there, Oth. A couple more. Now, I saw, I was watching uh, one of uh, Oopla's videos here before we started here, and Oopla goes to the left here, actually, which I never knew. So we're gonna, mm. gonna go team left here today. That's a nice strat, not having to thread the needle on all those blocks, I guess. Yep. Not much of a time difference for what I do, but hey, if it makes it easier, go for it. We've just got a few challenges left to go, so if you're still trying to get in on that PB train, which I know that you're trying to, so let me let you know, you don't have a lot of time left. We actually have two more people who got in on that PB train, oh, if you'd like to. Uh, here's our donations. Yeah, so please. Two short and sweet donations, one from Mark Doesn't Tweet for $30 that said, I was going to donate $1 per Sky Bills as PB, but I figured I had to leave a buffer, uh, which has proven to be the correct choice here because uh, they're just gaming today. Uh, mm -hmm. We also have $17 from Blue Thunder 50 who just says, great run, Skybills. Thank you both so much. Fantastic. Uh, thank yeah, this you. is our this is our final challenge is not 1-1 one, one in Kirby's Adventure. I don't remember which stage this is. Uh, but... This is Rainbow Resort, the final stage before DDD fight. Right, uh, and it's like a, a, a amalgamation of uh, Kirby's Dreamland homages, so. Um, pretty cute stage, a, a nice one for this challenge. Um, there are a few spots in it that are a little tricky for uh, this legend trial, but um, Sky's doing great, as she has been this whole time. <laughs> yeah, I had a little bit of a rougher patch here in terms of PVs from Kirby's Adventure, because again, Kirby either cooperates or doesn't cooperate, right? But overall, just doing well here. It's a hard game to speedrun. It really is. It really is. We have two more people who've jumped on the PB train. Let's Fantastic. go. That's a smart uh, choice, you know. Uh, Clinkit donated $17 and said, okay, you've convinced me, Spef. Let's save the frames. And we also had Bell who donated $17 and said, Spef made such an impassioned call to action about the save versus kill war that I felt compelled to join in. Put this money towards saving the animals. Thank you so much for those wonderful PB train donations, uh, both to both saving and killing the animals and keeping that an even race. This room is so hard. It's so laggy. Ah! All right, time's coming up. Time. 
There we go. That was a 118. That's pretty good. Low 118. That's a great time. That's my second best run I think I've done of this. It may have been a PV if I didn't mess up the um, the UFO room. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. Any questions? <laughs> It'll be on the test. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I have a quick question. Was that a yeah. PB of PBs? I don't think so. <laughs> number um, of PBs? That has to be the most well, PBs in one speed, run. Yeah, probably number yeah. of PBs in a run. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, what do I have? You have a 117.56, so literally I was like one mistake away from from PBing. But I'll still take a 118 here for a marathon run. That is fantastic. I have zero complaints. 17 PBs. Was that the final count? Oh my goodness. All right, so while we're winding down here, I just want to take the time to thank some folks. I want to thank everyone who donated for this run, everyone who donated to Direct Relief. Again, this is a cause very near and dear to my heart, uh, especially given everything that Auth and I had gone through. I want to thank my partner, Auth, for always continuing to inspire me to speed run, to continue pushing myself, improving, uh, and just doing the best I can. And of course, I want to thank y'all in chat. You'll always see me say, hey chat, you're cute. Yeah, that's me. That's us that most of the time. Uh, also too, I want to thank my uh, GDQ Hotfix fam. I'm the host of Brandon and Number Generation as well. And it's just been awesome being involved with the GDQ community. And of course, everyone working behind the scenes and to Speth as well for doing a fantastic job hosting. It takes literally all of us to put this marathon together, especially on such a short turnaround. So again, shout outs to everyone working the event, chat moderators, don't want to forget y'all as well. But yeah, I will see you all in the hosting booth in a run. I'm going to take some time, make sure I get something to eat. But yeah, much love y'all. And I'm going to put forth my share too uh, for 17. So anyone who wants to hop on the $17 train, be sure to reference this run and let's keep helping out and donating to direct relief, right? Gamesdonequick.com slash donate. Much love. Anything else off that you would like to say? No, that's it. You captured it all. Thank you so much. And, and thank you for your support. You know, Western Car North Carolina has been uh, impacted pretty heavily and we got fortunate, but it's it's good to see all the support for, you know, what is essentially me and Sky's community. Thank you all so much. Much love. And we will see y'all later. Good luck and have fun to Ryan Ford and Super Metroid.